click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have discussed about the preparation of ozone and now in this topic we are going to talk about the chemical properties of ozone. So what are those chemical properties? Let me talk about that in this topic. So friends, in this topic we are going to talk about the chemical properties of ozone. So starting with the first one that is, ozone can also be used as an oxidizing agent. Yes, for example, we have certain example that is, suppose if we have a PBS and suppose if we are reacting it with 4 moles of O3. And in this case basically, O3 get decomposed into oxygen as well as it will form discant oxygen atom. And because of that discant oxygen atom, the reaction goes on proceeding and that is how basically the product is being produced. So in this case basically, PBS is reacted with 4 moles of O3. So as to obtain that is PBSO4 along with that of 4 moles of O2. So in this case basically the lead has sulfur attached to it but it has basically oxidized into PBSO4 making this to be called as that is O3 to be known as oxidizing agent. So talking about the other reaction that is whenever the potassium iodide is treated with water and that of also with the ozone so therefore the product that is what we could get is KOH. In this case the potassium was associated with iodine but after the reaction with ozone the potassium has oxid along with it so that's the reason here basically this kind of reaction is known as oxidation reaction where we can also get that is i2 and o2 as a byproduct so therefore ozone act like an oxidizing agent also so what are the different property let me talk about that also ozone is also used to prepare aldehyde from alkenes so for example here is an example that is suppose if we consider ch2 double bond ch2 and that's the reason suppose if i using ozone and that also in presence of ccl4 therefore there will be a production of ozonoide and that could be written as i mean writing over here as c this is h2 this is ch2 and this is oxygen which on further hydrolysis with zinc as well as h2o2 we can get a particular aldehyde so therefore this is the ozonoid that has been produced and this were the properties of that is ozone as an oxidizing agent and now let me talk about the property of ozone as a reducing agent so ozone can act like a reducing agent also so here is an example that is this is barium dioxide that is bao2 and suppose if it is treated with o3 then here basically we can find that is barium is associated with two oxygen atoms but after the reaction barium is only associated with one oxygen atom and with the liberation of that is two moles of O2 we can easily judge that this kind of reaction is basically a reduction reaction where one oxygen atom has been eliminated from this molecule. So this is the another property of ozone that it acts like a reducing agent also. So talking about the other example that is suppose if we consider hydrogen peroxide that is H2O2 and suppose if we are treating it with ozone so now this H2O2 it will turn into H2O plus 2 moles of O2 is what we could get. So here also we can find that is there was an oxygen here that is in H2O2 but after the reaction this H2 is only associated with only one oxygen that makes the ozone to act like a reducing agent. So therefore, this were the two properties that is what I want to discuss about. So that's it. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I will see you next time. Till then, don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.